Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a quick preview of this um, rotary dipole center plate that I've been working on. Um, so the idea of this was to create a, a relatively cheap um, rotary dipole center. So my idea is to use these two wind jammer, 5 meter poles. And um, basically with two of these that will give me a rotary dipole for 20 meters. And then I've got the option to convert it to a fan dipole. Um, maybe have 15 and 10 on it as well. And perhaps have a center loaded uh, dipole and it would work on 40 so this this plastic here this was originally um just a chopping board so i bought two of these that cost me two pounds fifty each um the way that it cuts it's almost similar to ptfe so you can see that it it has got a fair bit of flexibility to it um hence why i've got this little bit strengthened plate here now you can see the way that i've cut this it's not neat in any way shape or form but it's not designed to be and what's important is it that, that it's functional now, now everything that I needed to make this was basically a pen, a pencil, um, steel rule, this little deburr tool, you don't need this you could just use a knife um, battery drill and um, I use my little bandsaw here but um, you know you could use you could use absolutely anything um, just a handsaw would do you but, um, so yeah, so basically everything was just kind of lined up with I. Basically, I just laid out the clamps, and I laid the um, hole in it, and then I just drilled the holes. So really incredibly simple. This will actually clamp onto the 12-meter um, spider beam pole. Um, I still need to get a dipole center to join the wires, so... I think that's probably going to, going to be the easiest way to do so then you could just run your coax up the pole screw in the um the dipole center and a uh, job's a good one so there we are so hopefully there's something that um you guys may want to have a go at um at building as i say a sheet of this was about two it was exactly two pound fifty for a sheet of this and you'd almost get two but not quite um um these clamps these are um rsb uh, clamps rubber actually um, these are about, I don't know, three or four pound each. Um, you may find them cheaper. They're actually the most expensive part of it. And obviously just your two um, poles of choice. So, there we have it. I hope that's of interest to some of you. Um, next time I'll have this, I'll give a little overview again. But I'll have this, um, I'll have a dipole centre. I'll have it mounted on the pole. And I'll probably, um, I want to get a one-to-one -one choke. So what I'll do is, I'll actually want to make some uh, GM3 ACK uh, chokes. So I only have one of these cores left. So I need to order a few more because I need two of these and you basically stick them together. And then you loop the coax through and it forms an effective uh, uh, choke for 20 metres up. So that's what we're going to do. Right folks, we'll see you in the next video. 73 for now.